Hey guys, this is Ian and in today's video I'm going to show you how you could patch um, a hole on your um, wall just in case you are in the process of moving or uh, renovating your apartment or if for whatever reason a hammer accidentally went through your wall. Um, so right here, uh, if you notice, it's actually a pretty big uh, hole right here. And we have some small ones, uh, small ones and big ones. Uh, I'm going to show you how we patch this. And I already started with this one. So basically, this is uh, just the first uh, uh, coat. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and let it try. And then I'm going to put more. And that will finish it up the patching. So let me show you how we patch this right here using a a uh, a tape which is designed for patching walls and also some compound right which is right here now this one is good since it's actually um it started as pink uh color and as soon as it dries it actually turns to uh white and that tells you that it's actually dry so it's uh it helps to determine if it's dry or not but the best thing will be to just leave it as much as you could so that you let it dry so that you have a better um, uh, outcome all right so let's go ahead and show you this and how we fix this all right so for this particular hole right here uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put some compound first around where the actual hole is. Um, so what I'm using right here is a spatula, a smaller and a bigger one. Um, I'm using the bigger one as a holder to hold the, uh, the compound. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and put the uh, tape a little bit past the hole itself. And I'm just gonna actually use this one itself to cut it I'll just use this you could use a knife or anything like that but I normally just use this one so this side is a little bit sticky on one side but you do need to put compound on the bottom so it adheres to the bolt so so you want to go ahead and try put it on the actual as much as possible on the hole itself right here and then from here you want to get more compound and you just want to go ahead and work your your compound around it so it it, it adheres it actually uses the compound to kind of stick to it so here you work your way around you work your way around here right here right here all right so you do your best just to cover this as much as possible and again this is just a first coating uh you just want to cover that up and that should be fine all right so now we're going to go ahead and cover this this is not actually uh, a small hole but you want to go ahead and also cover this part right here which actually the where the paint got peeled so you want to go ahead and also cover that so that it's flat so when you actually sand it and then paint it it's flat you know you don't want to just uh paint it without filling that um hole right there because it's not gonna be it's not gonna look nice you know all right so it doesn't have to be perfect because the next step will be, as soon as it dries, if it's not uh, thick enough, you could go and put more. Uh, and if the uh, thickness is the way you want it, you could then go ahead and sand it. And then after sanding, uh, you could then proceed to the next step, which is actually painting. So that will be our next video. Um, as I said, in this video, I'm just showing you how you could patch... Uh, your wall 
and pretty much that's it so we've done this one now we're gonna go and do the other one again same step that we did before we're just gonna put a uh, good um, uh, a good amount of uh, compound around where the hole is so that it will stick uh, I know there's other ways you could do this you could actually um, use a um, what do you call this a seat track and then you could make a square you know put the square on top of it and then cut it and then put it on top and all the stuff yes you could do that but I know I'm just uh, showing you a different different way of doing it also there's no wrong or uh, wrong way to do it uh, again this is just me and this is uh, how I normally patch holes on it. And again, I uh, just want to clarify, I'm not, uh, uh, you know, um, a handyman by profession. I just do this um, so that for home improvement and also just in case um, anybody needs some information on how to do it. Um, I'm pretty sure there, there's a far more efficient, better way to do this. Uh, just that this is how I do it. And if you want to uh, follow the same step, go ahead. If you, you know, if you find a different way of doing it, uh, you're more than welcome to do it. Again, this video is just for uh, educational and entertainment purposes and there you go just make sure you have it covered again it doesn't have to be smooth because the next step as I mentioned we're gonna um, sand this and basically the sand the sanding would actually um, make it more nicer you know so that it's ready for painting so after you sand that's when you paint. Now, sometimes after sanding, you see some bumps or still not not good for you, not enough. Uh, you need to put more compound. Go ahead, you know. Um, so don't go, as I said, uh, don't go crazy trying to flatten this up, which I'm what I'm doing right now. Because what I'm end up doing is I'm end up scraping or taking some of the compound that I'm actually putting in. So just put it up there. And this is just the first coating. I'm pretty sure I would have to come back here and put more so that it's gonna be nice. All right, and that should do it. All right, so basically, that's the first step of patching your wall. The next step will be to sand and then paint. So if you like this video, uh, hit the like, subscribe for future uh, uh, video regarding the uh, sanding and painting of this wall. You guys have a nice day. Bye.